think of a giant aircraft carrier hurtling through the cosmic backyard of Earth, and you have the asteroid 2005 YU-55. In the next two days, this giant boulder will come spinning through space at 31,000 miles an hour, crossing between the Earth and the orbit of the Moon. If this asteroid smashed into Earth, it would create a crater roughly four miles across and a third of a mile deep. We know this is a, uh, this is a mess. Uh, we know the orbit quite well. Uh, there will not be any gravitational interactions uh, that will affect anything on the Earth's surface. Uh, it's just too small of an object going by too quickly. But that doesn't mean hundreds of astronomers across the globe won't be watching the asteroid. At 200,000 miles away, this will be a close encounter of sorts, the closest in 35 years for this size space rock. It's like getting to know the neighbors. We, we want to know what's in our neighborhood. We want to know, are they rubble piles or big chunks of solid rock? Radar signals from California and Puerto Rico will map the asteroid's surface and look at the chemical composition, including a scan for frozen water. So the first question, is it dangerous? No, it's not dangerous. Is it important? Yes, it is. Why is it important? It's important to science. It's important to humans to understand their cosmic environment. Radar images of asteroids like these are becoming more common. Scientists are beginning to understand that there are millions of asteroids in our solar system. But right now, all attention is focused on the asteroid prowling our cosmic neighborhood and crossing through the moon's orbit. It's like being out on the busy freeway, you know, the things whizzing past all the time. As long as everybody stays in their lane, uh, everything's okay. 2005 YU-55 is small relative to most asteroids, but knowledge gained from this flyby, as well as other asteroid observations, could prove invaluable should there be an Armageddon-style rock lurking in a neighborhood near Earth. John Belmont, Associated Press.